Welcome everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing integer addition and subtraction. This is kind of an add-on to what we've done last time, which is just integer addition. We're mixing in subtraction this time. This, of course, is from mathdrills.com. There'll be a link in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Now, as we browse these problems, you're gonna notice here that basically we just have positive and negative numbers and they're either being added or they're being subtracted, okay? And I wanna talk about two distinct differences. So the first thing, if we have adding a negative, okay? That is essentially the same thing as subtraction. So three minus eight is the exact same thing as three plus a negative eight. Either one, we're gonna start on the number three and then we're gonna move in the negative direction, okay? Thus the minus sign, the negative sign, eight units, okay? So that eight is attached to that negative sign, that eight is attached to that negative sign. It doesn't matter how you write it. So anytime you have, let me write this at the top so you guys can follow along. Anytime I have plus a negative, it is the same thing as just minus, okay? Either one, you're moving in the negative direction. The other one I wanna point out, you'll see a lot of these. Uh, here's one, there's an example right there, that minus minus, okay? Here's another one, that minus minus. Anytime we have a subtract a negative, and that's the tricky one for most students to get, we gotta think of that in this way. Well, subtracting a negative, we're actually going to add, and why is that? A good example of why that is, a couple different ways, and it translates even to English with double negatives, like I did not not do the dishes means I did the dishes, but uh, with another example, we have money. So if you owe somebody money, that's negative money, and then if you take that away, if you take away owing somebody money, that means that you're earning money. So that's a positive thing, that you're taking away a debt means you're gonna be earning money, or at least being more positive than you were before. So, that being said, what I would do first is I would go and find all of these double negatives and I would turn them into positive. So, let me just go ahead and quick highlight anytime I see two negatives next to each other like that, okay? Again, if you have plus and minus, that's just, that can just write as minus, but it's it's not that bad. I think those are fine. I did that in my other video. There's a minus, minus, there's minus, minus, okay? So there's a bunch of them in here. And what I would do is, I always do this with a pencil with my students, is I take this guy and I just connect the two minus signs and I turn that parenthesis into a plus sign. So it really becomes negative nine plus four. So negative nine plus four. So anytime you have minus, minus, minus a negative, you should change this to positive right away before even doing anything. So step one, you wanna change the sign first. Step one, change sign, okay? And then step two, we're just gonna do our normal operation, okay? Proceed. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You're just gonna add or subtract. Okay, so for this one, if we have three and we go in the negative eight direction, we're gonna end up at negative five, okay? If we have this one, so if we start on the number line, I'll do that real fast. Number line, we start at zero, one, two, three. There's zero, there's three. And we go in the eight direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna land on negative five. That's how that one works, okay? Negative nine plus four, okay? So now, the first step, make sure you change the sign, okay? We have minus, minus, change that to plus, and then we're gonna proceed as normal. So we start on negative nine, there's negative nine, here's zero, we're gonna add four, one, two, three, four. We don't make it to zero, we're gonna land on negative five, okay? A lot of students like the number line method. Me personally, my favorite is thinking about two different teams. So as I do this, I like thinking we have a positive team and a negative team. So this seven, we'll call him on the positive team, and then we have the negative team, and we have negative five on the negative team. Now, who wins? Between a seven and a five, obviously the positive team is gonna win, that's a positive seven, but by how many points? It's gonna win by two points. That's another way I like to do it. I think it's the easiest way because you don't need a number line, but let me do a couple more examples just so you get the hang of it. Okay, we have minus minus. I highlighted this as like a watch out. We're gonna change this to plus. We have six plus four. We know that, that's just 10. That's something we've been doing for a while. We have negative four, we're gonna change this to plus, plus two, okay? This is what I was talking about with two different teams. So we have a minus team, this time it's the minus four. We have a plus team, the positive team, two. 
Who would win? Obviously, the four would win, so we know it's going to be minus. The negative team wins, but by how many points? The four beats the two by only two points, so it's negative two is our answer there. That's how I like to do this. Now, what happens when they're on the same team? Watch this. So, we have a minus and a minus. Okay, there's no minus. It's not subtracting a negative. It's just how it is normally. Okay, they're both on the same team. So, if they're on the same team, that means they're going to get stronger together. So, we add them. It's going to be negative 14. Another way to think of it, number line. Here's zero. There's negative four. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the negative direction, and we land on negative 14. So if you want to make a number line real quick just to get your bearings, that's one way. I like thinking of it as teams. Let me know what you guys like. Okay, I'm going to do just a couple more so you understand what I'm talking about. We have a positive six. We have a negative five. The negative five is on the negative team, and the positive six is bigger, so it's going to win by one point. These two guys are on the same team. I'm going to change to purple so we don't get the team uh, alliances mixed up with the colors. They're on the same team. They're both on the negative team, so they get stronger, negative 10. These guys, different teams. The positive team is 8. The negative team is bigger by how many points? By 2 points. So the negative team won because it's got the bigger number, but by only 2 points. Okay, we change this to plus. We get 12. I'm just doing a kind of whatever selection here. These guys are on the same team, negative 8. Um... We have to change this to plus. That's just normal 16. There's an easy one. 4 plus 2, 6. 8 minus 5, same philosophy. Here we have our positive 8. Here we have a negative 5. Okay, And you're like, what? That's a positive 5 that we're subtracting. It's the same thing. This is a negative 5. This is a positive 8. If you're like, well, I, I don't believe you. I, I've always considered that minus thing. Well, we have 8 plus a negative 5. That's the same thing. So if you don't think it's the same thing, it really is. Okay, we're just combining. There's no subtraction. There's just combining negatives and combining positives. In this case, the positive bigger by how many points? By three. So the answer is three. Eight minus five obviously is three. Okay, so I'll do one more just for kicks. Here's a tough one. We got to change it to plus sign first. We have negative four plus ten. I would rewrite it just so you don't get confused. A common thing I see is they change it to plus and they change it to plus and minus, which becomes minus again. So don't do that. So we have negative four plus ten. The bigger one is the positive, so it's going to be positive, and it's going to be only bigger by six points. There's our answer. I can do more problems if you want. Leave a comment if you need more help. Leave a comment if you have a suggestion for another video that you need done on any sort of math topic. I'll look forward to seeing you right here next time on West Explains Best.